box today from Right Stuff Anime. And I was actually gonna wait to open this until I have a few more manga that is coming in later this week, some of my pre-order volumes. But I was thinking just to make sure I wanted to open it and make sure everything was safe, that there was nothing missing or damaged. So I did cut it open, but then when I opened it, I remembered that this order had a lot of different shaped items and different sizes. So there are a few things that seem like they're kind of individually wrapped in packing paper. So even though I already just cut the top open, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox it. And then the manga that I'm gonna get later this week, I'll just <laughs> include that in my next haul video. So this is an order that I made during the birthday sale, but everything that I ordered was not part of the birthday sale, but it was discounted. And then I also have a Right Stuff membership as well as a coupon that I was able to use. But I'm really impressed how fast this got to me. I live kind of far away in a remote area and usually when I order from Right Stuff, it takes about three full weeks to get to me which is like the max of their like shipping window is usually like three to 15 business days. So I'm almost always getting mine on the 15th business day, but my orders are normally shipped through USPS and it looks like they used FedEx this time. So I don't know if it was able to move a little faster through transit because of that, but I'm happy to have it. And then in addition to the order that I recently made that <laughs> is in this package, there are some items from another order I did that had one out of stock item in that order. So that one is still on back order, but then they threw all the in stock stuff into this order. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull everything out of here and then I'll go through everything. Okay, so I got everything opened up and I got an art book, some manga. I did also get a couple additional volumes of manga that I'm leaving off screen because they're a gift. And before I go through all of these volumes of manga, I did also get two packs of easel stands for my nendoroids. So I do have more than six nendoroids that I'd like to put on easels, but I just wanted to start with two of these packs to make sure that they'll work well. And also because the first order that I put in at Right Stuff, I wanted to hit free shipping. So I threw these in as well so that I would meet the free shipping threshold. But I really like these nendoroid stands. They make the display of the nendoroids just really slim without having that bulky square and then the, the rounded stand that plugs into them ends up being kind of bulky just to have on the shelf, but then also visually looking at it. So I'm gonna swap some of those out for these ones. And then I got this art book a Sky Longing for Memories, and it is the art of Makoto Shinkai. And when I first found out about this art book, I actually didn't realize that it was published by Vertical and that it was in English. I thought that it was going to be a Japanese copy I'd have to get, but interesting it is soft cover. And it's glossy, but I had seen some flip through videos of this art book and I just really wanted to add it to my art book collection because it's just so gorgeous. I haven't seen all of their films, but usually my favorite thing in the movies that they work on are the landscapes and the cityscapes and 
just kind of the atmospheric things. So I was really looking forward to getting it for that art. And it looks like oh, the cover got folded and creased a little bit, I guess. That's okay. But this is nice because it's the English release, the little captions and little details. Or in English. So some of these are kind of art from classrooms. Not gonna do like a full flip through of it, but just if anyone's been curious about what kind of art. And I'm not sure, I'm sure it says in the intro if these are all from their films or if any of it is just extra extra illustrations, but if it's just all from their boobies, I'll just, <laughs> I'll be happy with that because it's gorgeous. Ooh. Interview, before this was a little bit of like technical technical information. So very cool. Excited to take my time and go through this. Ooh. But yeah, so I'm gonna add this art book to my collection. Next, I actually have two light novels and they're both for my husband's part of the collection so from near automata long story short and short story long and the spines <laughs> combined to look like this which i think is kind of cool kind of creepy but kind of cool when i had seen these in the store i told my husband we can't just get one, we have to make sure to get them both so that we can have the full spine image. But I believe the content in these light novels is what's in the game series. But this is a series that my husband has really been getting into. He has the other light novel as well as the manga series. So near Yorha Boys and then Yorha Pearl Harbor Descent Record. And I still honestly just don't know much about this series other than that there are some sci-fi elements, there are some androids. But I have watched a little bit of the gameplay from the game but not enough to really know what's going on in the story. But I know that the anime has been airing and I am planning on watching the anime adaptation. And then I'll finally know <laughs> what this series is all about. Honestly, I don't intend to read the light novels, but I am planning to read the manga after I've watched the anime as well as maybe watch more of the gameplay as well. But he'll be really thrilled that we got these in the mail today. And then all of the rest of the manga that I got is for the same series. So volumes three and four of Do Ra Ra Ra. And <laughs> when I was pulling this out of the box, I thought it was so cute because I had seen the cover and I thought it was just black, but it has little 
holographic hearts and how fitting too because it's with Celti and Shinra on the cover. But Do Ra 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 is kind of an action series, kind of action slice of life for people that are members of gangs or just people that are getting mixed up in the activities of the bizarre individuals around them. These two are actually my favorite characters in the series. I'm kind of bummed that looks like the cover got. scratched or chipped a little bit, but volume three and volume four, and I do already have volumes one and two. So these four volumes, one through four, are all of the first like main, main section of the story. And then after those four volumes are a three volume arc that continues the story, but those three volumes are out of print, so I am going to have to figure out how to get a hold of those. I have seen some secondhand listings, and a lot of them, either the books are just really, really beat up, or they're really expensive, so I'm just going to have to be on the lookout for them. But then after those four volumes, and then the three volumes, then there's another three-volume arc that I was able to get a hold of. Do Ra Ra Ra, Yellow Scarves Arc. So I got volumes one to three. So in July, I actually read through this entire series. And I really enjoyed it. I had watched the anime only season one though, years ago, which cover the first 10 volumes. And then I believe the second season of the anime or just the spin-off sections of the anime after season one cover this next content. So do Ra Ra Ra, read Dollar's Arc. So I got volumes one to seven and volume eight is going to be releasing a little bit later this month. So I did read all of this digitally last month, really enjoyed it. I really liked in the dollars arc that there's a change in art style because I didn't dislike the art style before. Like this is the way the characters are drawn. And like you can see from the covers, the first 10 volumes are in this kind of art style. But then it's just noticeably different right away into this next arc. And I loved it. <laughs> but even though this is volume one, I think there is a little bit, might be spoiler content in here. So I'll just show these illustration pages where it shows the art style. But then in addition to the art style, I really liked how the story kind of went along as it got into this arc. The previous volumes, there was a lot of gang activity and just very strange and bizarre people. And <laughs> They're still very strange and bizarre into this arc, but in this arc, there's more content featuring Yakuza characters and assassins. So I really like stuff like that. So just a really interesting series, a really interesting read. This was all new content for me because I had already watched season one of the anime. And before I get into volume eight, when I get it, I'm gonna, I'm planning to reread these first seven volumes of this arc because it's not that it was confusing, but there are just a lot of characters and I had trouble remembering their names. So I got a little confused, but I'm just going to plan to read it again and 
Try to take better note of character names and then it will help me to follow the story a little better. There were some new characters also introduced in this arc. I absolutely love how colorful the volumes are too. The spines are gonna be so pretty. It's kind of funny, this little arc though is just all yellow. So the first section and then these will be all colorful and then I'll just have a little block of yellow. And I'm actually really, really excited for volume eight because it's another cover of these two and they're my favorites. I'm so excited to have their cover. But then I like this cover a lot too because these are these are some interesting some interesting people. <laughs> Oh yeah, and just looking at these two covers. To show the art style that these two are the same guy. And then these two are the same guy. This is everything that I'm adding to my collection today, all these new volumes. Really happy that it seems like everything was packaged well, so all the books made it to me safely. I hope you enjoyed watching my Write Stuff unboxing, and I'll see you again soon in another video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>